Hi folks, welcome back to the channel and episode 2 of my van to campervan build. In this video I'd like to talk a little bit more about the conversion I'd like to do and hopefully we can get things started. Starting at the back of the van, there's going to be a three quarter width rock and roll bed. More than enough room on there for two people to sleep. I'm six foot two, I've never had any issues sleeping on a three quarter width bed with someone else next to me. Next to that, there's going to be a full height unit. Loads of space in there for storage. I'm not sure if we're going to get cupboard doors yet or sliders. There might even be a shelf on top for extra storage again. Next to that full height unit, there's going to be a half height unit. And on there will be a worktop with a SMEV 9222. Now that's a dual gas hob with a sink next to it. You can get that unit with a sink on the right or a sink on the left. On the basis that I want a fridge about here on the lower left, I'm going to have to put the sink on the right hand side. And that's because the sink takes up too much room and you can't get a fridge below it. Above that there will be a shelf, maybe with doors on to make it a cupboard just for a bit more storage space and between the two there will be a window along with a window on this side and two windows at the back of the van to let loads of light into the van and make it feel that little bit bigger. Now I am going to fit a pop top, it gives loads of room to the inside of the van and also gives me the ability for someone to sleep up there as well. The bulkhead will be coming out and I'll fit a swivel to the double passenger front seat so when I'm parked up I can spin that seat around creating much more space in the back of the van and giving me somewhere else to sit. I would like to colour code the bumpers and put alloy wheels on just to make the van look that little bit more modern and smart. There's also a few more things I'd like to do for practicality. Things like seat covers to protect the seats when I'm getting in and out the van covered in mud, wind deflectors so I can leave the windows cracked open slightly to aid airflow through the van and mud flaps to keep as much mud off the van as possible. There are loads of details I've missed out there. I've not talked about where the gas bottle's gonna go, water bottle's gonna go, leisure battery's gonna go, wires, controls, stuff like that. And that's because at the moment, I'm not entirely sure which way around I'm gonna do it. So we'll figure that out as we go along. At the moment, there's not really much I can do. It's completely pointless in putting the floor in, the bed in, the units in, the lights in, because all of that's gonna have to come back out the van when I get the pop top done. And I've not yet got a date for that. I have got a date for the windows though, so I need to take out the wood on the back doors, sliding door and behind me where the windows are going to go. I'm going to keep that wood because I might use that at a later date. I can crack on with that now and I can also start some of the smaller jobs like wind deflectors, seat covers and mud flaps.
That's about all I can do at the moment. I need those windows to go in and I need that pop top to go on before I can go any further. You might have realized I haven't fitted the rear mud flaps. It's completely pointless in those going on as they'll have to come back off the van in about two weeks time when I get the tow bar done. So it's a little bit of a waiting game at the moment. That'll do it for episode two. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.